Hello, everyone. Welcome back once more to Journey Beyond the Abyss. Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to have to refill that. Keep us at 10. But in the meantime, hello. All right. So, as I said, I resolved the oil difficulties. We have our diesel building up once more in here. I moved the pump jacks over. Our current location is over by the church. Yep. Didn't need to move them terribly far. Ended up kind of playing with some floating wires, getting this all working on each other. Yes, this is holy oil that we're burning here. How lovely. I wonder if it'll give us any advantage. But yes, uh, thankfully, that little burst of oil that I had in the refinery, just from the battery that it had in here, that was enough to kickstart the industry again. I didn't need to go and do anything wonky in order... It just gave me a sip of diesel that ran the engine for like 0.5 seconds. And that was enough to get another little bit of diesel going slightly more. And just like after 15 minutes of sitting here flicking the switch on and off, it eventually it eventually uh, started building up more than it could consume in the time it took to process more. So we have fuel once more. And I think that source over by the church is like 10 million buckets. So it'll last for a little while. So, we have fuel. By now, I imagine the assembler is... Ah, yes. Okay, so it ended up with some copper left over. Is that just messed up because of how uh, it didn't have enough? Let's take out one of these. That should reactivate it. Let's also take out this. So we'll see how it's running. We'll see how it's running. Hmm. Okay, so this is flickering with every item. It should only be... It should stay on long enough to... Uh, to be... It, like, it, it should only be flickering once per every two plates, not with every one. So I think it needs another pulser on it in order to pump out just a little bit quicker. Can I sneak that on the bottom from here? Not looking like it. So I need to kind of get under the base again. This is convenient. Okay, so then if I, instead of doing it on the two, doing the two separate pulses on the two separate pulsers, if I say single pulse down here as well, then that should, when it receives signal. Also, it looks like I accidentally picked up a plate. Oh, I picked it up from the conveyor belt line, not from the hopper. It's still only one. Oh no, it's. Hmm. So why is it not pulsing like it should? Oh, it's because the process is already done, I guess. Yes, this will be a little bit wonky until we have it completely done. Still, it does look like the uh, it does look like the metal presses are relatively keeping up with the production. Okay, so that's twenty six to fifty one. Oh, it's one plate short. Huh. Why is it one plate short? I don't know. We'll let this run for a little while and we'll see if it starts producing problems. In the meantime, though, that is our mechanical parts coming in and we should be slowly producing redstone, light, and heavy blocks. Now let's get the order set up correctly because I do believe this is the priority order of it all. Yes, very, very slowly, unfortunately. But then again, unless we're trying to increase our infrastructure at really rapid rates, then relatively slowly should work. This should be a machine that we kind of leave on in the background and it'll chew through our resources and produce us blocks. So 
the next thing I need to do is I need to run a line from the cobble gen down here. And get that loaded in. So, which one of these? All right, these are for other things. So, I guess this one will be the cobble line in the end. Let's just put that right there. And we don't really have a line from the cobble gen, do we? No, we have it. All oh, right, I made this one as a sampler, didn't I? Yeah. Well, it's close enough, I suppose. But no, no, it really isn't. Let's just pick that up and move it. Delete all this cobble because cobble is free and produced very quickly. We can throw out cobble. It's fine. Copper is the precious one right now. We are really low on copper, unfortunately, already. Yeah, we're down to only 800 in storage. Mm. That sounds like a lot of copper, but it's really not. It's really, really not. All right, so let's extend this line down. Just to a more convenient location. Heck, we can get it right up to where we need it, pretty much. Right there. And then we're going to need our blue pipe wire. A little bit of that, a little bit of that. Say when container is less than 50% full, produce blue signal, run blue wire down. And that'll start ordering us some copper, some cobble. Now we just need, just off the top, I think. Right on into there. And that'll just need a single pipe plug. Right, shnya. It's going into this one. Well, I don't know. That must be either wood or bronze. It could be either wood or bronze right now because it's empty. But uh, yes, 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 yes. Now I need two gates. Any old flavor will do. Shnya and shnya. And now I say. When container less than 75% full, produce blue signal. Run it on down. Give it a single pulser. Of which I am running tragically short. And say, when blue signal, produce pulse. And there we go. That's cover. That's cobble put into the system. Now how's this doing? Uh, well, it's hard to tell if it's to ratio, because it'll only stop when, when like, uh, it'll only stop ordering more copper well before it stops ordering more plate. And yeah, it looks like that doesn't quite keep up with the demand of a single pulser. Hmm. Oh, I see. It's now... It's now piling them two on two on top of each other. Okay, and that's kind of exactly what I want because that's a single event. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So yeah, we just have to, uh, yeah, and it's emptying out so quickly that it's still kind of, yeah, I might need more metal presses to keep up with the demand here. It looks like the metal presses are our bottleneck and I really did not give myself enough space to expand on that regard. Still, so long as it's keeping up with this, which it looks like it is, then technically it's operating at full capacity. Yeah, it looks like it, it's keeping up just fine with this at least. All right, how are we doing? Yeah, we've almost got a stack of redstones already. Isn't that wonderful? And we even have some more heavy engineering blocks in here. So now I just need to go and get a ton of jungle wood just to chuck it in so I have hoppers built up. Because... Well, no, I don't necessarily need hoppers right now. I guess... Okay, what do I need most right now? My 
two most pressing needs are I need to get on biodiesel. I can't stay on this crude oil forever. And I need to get some sand. Get a permanent source of sand because my glass reserves are really limited right now. So I think the problem I'd like to resolve first is sand because I decided to do that in crushers. So I guess the parts that I need most of right now are redstone and lights in order to make hoppers. So keep on keeping on in this regard, I guess. I need to like wall this off for my own sanity, I think, because I can't be bluntly wandering into it and just stealing the copper off of it. Actually, isn't there a covered conveyor belt? Yeah, there is. That's just a steel scaffolding with the conveyor belt. Okay, let's replace that and see if that prevents my own blundering. We shouldn't need too terribly many of them. I should be able to... Well, do I have any more conveyor belts in storage? So then just take those, take those. Or is it the other way around? How do I... Ah, there we go. And from there, I should be able to... Temporarily place these down. Temporarily rip these up. And then just over and over okay and then yeah it's blocking me from b picking it up okay that's good that's good it's a little bit ugly but oh well oh it stopped producing hmm that's not right at all what's going on Okay, let's start it over one more time. Let's put these in here. And put these in here. Okay, so. That pulse is... Yeah, it's only producing two per each one, and that's coming out as a single event, so it's really simplified. Hello, 12th Century Fox. We're just debugging our system here. It looks like... Okay, it's looking like so long as the metal presses are keeping up with production, then it is indeed building it to ratio. So is it just... Is it bugging out when I don't have sufficient production from the metal presses? Is the answer more metal presses? Yeah, well, hey. At least you probably already knew from certain other sources that I would be streaming right now. So, uh, yeah, you knew from before, so you knew to look. And uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, only news so far is the, um, we are running on holy oil. Yes, the, the uh, pump jacks are over by the church right now. Look at them. Just uh, lovely, blessed oil coming up out of the earth for us. Isn't that wonderful news? And uh, yes, the oil industry revived without issue. That, that uh, you remember like last night when I discovered the problem and I like gave the refinery one last burst with just the little battery power it had in there? That was enough. The tiny trickle of diesel it produced was enough that I could jumpstart the industry off of it. All right, so current goal is to get some crushers together and start producing more sand. Because I'm going to need a lot of glass for a lot of pipes. And it's looking like we might actually have enough already. Isn't that a lovely feeling? Just, we didn't need to build these by hand. That's wonderful. All right, so now 
I think I'm gonna need to make some more glue. I think I might be out of glue. No, I'm not quite out of glue, but that's probably not enough. How much do I need to make the 18 hoppers I'm gonna need for two crushers? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna need 90 glue in total. Yeah, I need more. So to make glue, we're gonna need quite a lot of clay balls, quite a lot of slime balls, quite a lot of wood pulp. The wood pulp at least is relatively easy to solve. I think I need to throw some more of this into the, uh, into the, one of these anyway, so. Three, four, one, two, three, four. We might as well make whatever steel we can, you know? Let's just go grab some iron as well. Two stacks of this. Yes. Sand, and um, more importantly, the glass that we will produce out of the sand, because that's kind of, one of been one of the sticking points, hasn't it, is I constantly need to go hunting for sand in order to make more pipes. So let's put this away for the moment. Let's go hunting for, uh, ah, we have tons of saplings. Honestly, I might not even uh, bother, you know, picking up all the ones that come out of this one simply because I need to start disposing of them. And uh, bone meal. I also need bone meal. Oh, yes. Also, between episodes, a uh, um, an artist merchant appeared at the marketplace. And uh, I picked up some more ink sacks as well as some more lapis from him. So our supplies on those got a little bit of a restock. All right. So let's build us a tree real quick. There's my wonderful. Just right here should do. And then, boop. And then a dupe. Wood shower, shower me with wood and XP. Experience the wood. Oh yes, yes, yes. We just, we're painting it with invisible ink, you know? It'll still be here in spirit because it's dead. We're, we're painting it with non-existence. It's very artistic. And yes, isn't it wonderful having an indestructible axe? Just watching this all happen and the axe comes out of it perfectly fine. I wish I was able to get more modifiers on all of my tools. It's only a very few of them that I can make infinite right now. Unfortunately. Alright, let's get out a nice little shulker box. And let's just pile that all on in. Yep, that is indeed. I haven't had much comment on the silly names I put on my tools. Mm. Then again, that also kind of happened in Regrowth. I went with very silly names for a lot of things in there. I think I, in particular, I renamed the the uh, Thaumonomicon every like couple of episodes. I made it more and more janky and long and ridiculous. No, I think the only one ever commented on was that I eventually swapped uh, the name on the quest book into Best Quook. Indeed, they need no other introduction, I suppose. Ah, uh, well, the church got a little wood on it. Oh, well. It's probably not the first wood that's been knocking around in the church. Them altar boys, I tell you. 
All right, so I think we're just gonna bung all of this into the Kriya Sub Maker, and then we'll take out some for other uses. Yeah, it, it's it's holy. That's a nice word for syphilis. It's also the result of syphilis. But yeah, that's not a bad amount of wood to get out of two pieces of bone meal, isn't it? All right, so now I'm going to grab like two stacks of wood, turn them both into wood pulp. And yeah, I am just keeping my arrows in my offhand so that they can uh, regenerate over time. It's annoying, but what you gonna do? Wait, where did my bucket go? Did I accidentally throw out my bucket? No, I put it in my bag. Also, time to put the rest of the iron in. And probably time to just put these sticks away in there. Yep. All right, so I think I should be able to just take water like this. And yeah, there it goes. Okay, so I think this full stack is going to need a total of 16. Googly eyes and stocks? These boots? I don't see it. Unless you mean the boots in here. Yeah, I guess those look kind of like googly eyes. Yeah, I, I can kind of see it. Okay, and now one, two... Well, they may be googly eyes, but it's it's fierce googly eyes because those are the tank set boots. And I found out something. It turns out that the um the modifier that's the equivalent of protect one that I put on them, which is what in fact gives them that uh lovely dark plate that gives them the googly eye look, that is a bit like luck. It stacks with itself without taking up more modifiers. So, and it stacks up to eight. So they could be very protective googly eyes. They could be googly eyes of protection plus eight if I wanted to invest the resources into them. Okay, and I think honestly, yeah, I'm gonna have to do this kind of one stack of wood at a time, I think. So we'll just put this away in here for the moment. And then I'm going to need four stacks of clay balls. I'm probably going to need more clay balls if I want to make two stacks of... Of, uh... So... Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Two, three, four. And then it's just going to need... <laughs> And I imagine that they shake around quite wonderfully whenever they're in use. That sounds amazing. Okay, let's get this smelted out as ingots. And it's also time to go and retrieve more blued. Because yes, we are going to need slime aplenty. <laughs> oh. Yes, he's so happy to see you. He he gets happier the closer your hand gets. Don't you want to make Mr. Happy Bandsaw the happiest he can be? Think of Mr. Happy Bandsaw's feelings.
Okay, so this should, if I recall, be worth about 100 balls of slime that I'm picking up right here. It really might be time for me to go and run a blood pipeline down to the base. I'm probably going to say that every time I do this and never actually do it. Not until I need an industrial amount of blood for something like, I don't know, making pig iron automatically or something. If I did auto-gate the blood out so that the blood bank was never completely empty, it would be much easier. And it would allow me to do something like set up a table so that it's constantly just producing... So that I constantly have, like, a double chest full of slime that I can draw out of. That would be convenient. Hmm... I mean, it's worth doing, but is it worth doing right now? I think I want to get the sand going before I do that. Yeah, so we'll just suck it up. Okay, and also, every time I reload the world, this damn thing disconnects. So I need to go and poke it. There we go. Indeed. Uh, no, I, I don't necessarily... That one I could run down on an immersive engineering pipe. Like, I don't need to use, to do build craft pipes for it. I could do it in the good old fashioned um, these things, which are just made out of a little bit of sheet metal. I could. Don't know if I want to. I mean, I like having the build craft pipes out being all pretty. Like, I like the, uh... I like the big gloopy spaghetti under my base right now. This wonderful mess of all the pipes going around. It, it, it's functional, too. It's not just pretty. It also helps me identifying where all my liquid sources are and stuff like that. But yes, if I'm just running down one liquid for a long distance, I could use the cheaper pipe. Especially since it doesn't need a whole lot of flow. The other reason to use Buildcraft pipes is they have a whole lot more flow in them. So uh, when you need liquid somewhere fast, when you need high pressure, they're what you want to use. But if you're just having a steady trickle out like the blood bank would eventually become, then yeah, the old pipe will do you just fine. And of course the other feature is for something like this one you need filtering. Uh, don't mind the metal barrels there. That was just something I was experimenting with while I was idly flicking the switch up and down, getting the oil restarted. <laughs> oh, no. I, 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 I don't know. I don't think the priest really strikes me as being like any of the characters, except possibly for the dwarf cleric. And he's not awesome enough to be the dwarf cleric. Okay, arrows are fully repaired. I probably shouldn't have queued up that big pour of steel. Wait, has it stopped? Oh, I accidentally turned it off. Well, we can just, yeah, also not nearly build it beardy enough. I haven't read Order of the Stick in quite a while. I know it's still ongoing, is it still good? As awesome as it is that this is all flowing, we are running out of copper. We are out of copper. Oh dear. At least in the silo. Yeah. Oh boy. Well, what has this earned us so far? But yeah, that's another that's another minor crisis is we are going to need to track down a better source of copper and get that automated. Not bad, though. Not bad at all. Really, all I need to do now is, uh... Hmm. Wrapping up for two years? Like it's going on hiatus? Or it's, like, wrapping up the main plot? 
in two years. Yeah, those iron plates just ain't keeping up. So eventually this will jam, if only because the damn iron plate can't keep up. Hmm. Right, and wood for the pistons, yes. We, we won't be able to get wood for the pistons automated until next chapter. So that's a little while off. And in the meantime, I'm just going to have to cut down these jungle trees every once in a while and uh, do it manually. Well, hot damn. But it's supposedly been doing that for two years now, and it's looking like it's not actually going to happen anytime soon, right? Oh, yes. Also, also I found out something tragic. It turns out that the uh, ore veins are customized in that some of them will decay over time. Yes, yes, that was... That was indeed a wonderful line. Didn't he go through an arc where he's becoming slightly less of a sociopath these days? But yes, this Malachite and Azerite vein, it is one of the two... Um, Malachite, Azurite, and Autonite, which is copper, copper, and radioactive stuff. They are, uh, they are all veins that will decay over time, unfortunately. And unfortunately, because this particular vein is close enough to both of our vases, it has been chunk-loaded pretty much the entire time we've been playing. And uh, yes, this vein is dead. And I don't know of any others right now. I don't know why the copper decays. I can understand the autonite because it's radioactive. Although the rate that it decays at, y yeah, that, that's not realistic. But, but yeah, I don't know why copper decays. I don't know. But yes, we are in a copper pinch and I do not have a destination for copper mining right now. So, sooner or later, I'm going to have to uh, charge up the old capacitor once more and go out with the core drill. I don't know. I don't know how it works. I don't know how Austin Supercar accomplished it. As far as I can tell, that is not a, a feature that is native to immersive engineering. And I don't see it anywhere in the config files. Uh, the only place I could steal copper from would be the cargo ships. And I don't know how, like, I should have some copper blocks still. Yeah, I have 26 blocks of copper from those. But, um, yeah, that that is ultimately kind of a limited, it's a technically unlimited resource. There is, you know, technically as many ships as you feel like exploring for out there. But it's a... It's... Oh, I had a stack of it. Okay, cool. I have more slime than I thought I did. But yeah, yeah, yeah. This is unfortunate. We're going to get over it. I still have a lot of, iron, of island to explore. I've only scanned out to, like, here. So, all this space, all this space, all this space, all the way down pretty much um, to my safety line down here where mobs would start spawning again. That is all space that we can scan, all chunks that we can scan. So we have a lot of dice rolls for finding more copper still. And um, Azerite is a very common vein, so we shouldn't have trouble finding it. But when we do find it, when we do find it, we are um, going to have to be ready for it. I'm waiting until after biodiesel, if possible, to do that. Because we are going to want that excavator to be on constantly. And it's going to have to be going into a silo, the raw ore. Excavate immediately and constantly. Because its lifetime is only something like two to three real-time days. It's long, but it's not as long as uh, 
the amount of ore being carried in them, I don't think can be mined up in that time by a single excavator. So it's going to have to run for all it's worth. So remind me again, how much does one bucket get? That gets five, right? Right. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, yeah, two to three real time days. That's a whole bunch of Minecraft days. It's like a couple of Minecraft months. Still, yeah, that is when you consider when you consider geological lifetimes, it's boggling why it's still there. It's completely unrealistic that it's still there. And in the case of Autonite, yeah, like I mean, I imagine that the Azerite it's, it's excuses some sort of geological what's it's like. It's being subducted by by like some geological process or another. But why won't? Thank you. But in the case of like Autonite, where it's supposedly due to radioactive decay, uh, yeah, something with a half life that short. Where the heck did it go? What the heck is going on? Did I? Okay. Yes. Get in my inventory. What? What? What the heck? Okay, maybe take that out. I guess it just doesn't like having the wire cutters in there. Yeah, and what? And what's more, if it's decaying that fast, then the amount of autonite held in a single vein should be going super critical. And it should be hot. Like, it should be melting the land around it into magma. It should be melting the land around it into magma that's so radioactive it glows blue. So, uh, yes. Yes. I disapprove. But it is something we are just going to have to deal with. And look at that, we already have almost a stack of each of these, each of those blocks. I've, I've heard of, I've heard somewhat of that. Um, I've heard of sort of naturally occurring, naturally occurring like nuclear reactors where, uh, where like, Geological hot springs get uranium salts of various makes together, and they start causing like um, they they cause minor criticality events where like the water acts as a neutron moderator, so it doesn't go like completely out of control, but it gets it like boiling hot. And uh, I actually heard of that because I read a. Uh, I read a very serious internet dissertation once on a theory for the biology of kaiju and how they are formed. Like, you know, Godzilla, King Kong, and all those. And they had to do with that, where basically the theory was um, they were living fossils who got mummified by radioactive compounds inside of these naturally occurring reactors. All right, so I don't think I have quite enough glue here. And I certainly don't have quite enough clay here to get more glue. So we just need to go a swimming for it. And this will be probably the final trip for glue for uh, for clay because we are currently working on the process that will automate sand, gravel and clay. Oh right, I need my wetsuit. Hmm. Actually, I apologize, but I am going to be right back real quick. All right, my apologies. <sighs> After that really long episode of uh, Let's Read Dwarf Fortress, I've been I've been drinking a lot of tea to uh, 
to recover, and what goes in must come out. So, let's just put that back on. And let's go a hunting for Kawei. It Kawaii. Oh boy. So it looks like I left some spawnable space down there after all. Oh well, so it goes. And now half of my inventory is going to be infected. Lovely. <laughs> no, I'm not quite on the level of that one engineer that we saw in, in Breath Edge. That is just awesomeness that is denied to me. Uh, Creeper griefing is actually turned off in JPTA. It is one of the few acts of unambiguous mercy in the pack. Creepers don't destroy any blocks. So, regardless of what it wanted, it failed and was impotent in that regard. Well, I mean, after the introductory couple of chapters... Once you reach the point that you can make Minecraft torches, you pretty much reach a point where mon monsters are something you very rarely encounter anymore. Pretty quickly. I mean, in agrarian skies, the only place you should ever be encountering creepers is in your mob farm. And it's pretty easy to design a mob farm that you know, prevents any unwanted contact. I forget, did Agrarian Skies have a mod that made creepers explode on damage or on death or anything like that? Ah, well, uh, the only advice I have is don't do that. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, that's that's a case of, well, you built a design flaw. Oh well. In case of mistake, don't make a mistake. This has been helpful advice. Hmm. I forget, did Agrarian Skies have something to automate mob farming early on, or did it just kind of linger in that regard? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm going to miss about Breath Edge now that it's done with. I miss having suit in order to, to bounce off of. He really was a wonderful partner in Snark. Yeah. Well, I guess then the advice would be build it out of obsidian. Build it out of obsidian as soon as you can. Let's see here. Uh, did the version of Ex Nihilo that was in Agrarian Skies allow you to make the, um, the stone... Whatchamacallit? The... the the stone barrel for, like, casting obsidian really easily. Like, you just, you put a uh, bucket of water on top of it and pipe lava into it. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, right, I need to take these off first. Yeah. So, uh, build your mob farm out of obsidian as soon as possible. That would be the true advice, I guess. Mmm. 
Yeah, that's a bit of an issue. Hmm. Well then, uh, Agrarian Skies had Enderio then, right? I think the case then would be to make separate mob farms for creepers and, you know, skeletons and everything else so that they're separated out and they never interact using powered spawners. Yes! Beautiful, tasty clay. Mmm. Delicious. It's good for you. And next I'm going to need more wood pulp. So just go and grab another one of those. Just out of there. It's fine. We might as well build it to a stack. And thankfully it looks like none of the clay got infected. You absolutely may. Uh, heck, I'll, uh, if I can, I'll, I'll shout out your channel. Like, I'll pin a comment to you. Well, all being infected is almost as good. But yes, everyone listening and watching, by all means, check out 12th Century Fox's channel. I'll, um, hold on, I'll, I'll, um, no, not right now. But after the stream is over, I'll pin a comment linking to, the, linking to their channel and, uh, ooh. Oh, you're fine, I'm sure. Everyone's first time through Journey Beyond the Abyss is awkward and derp. The only reason I did so well on my first couple of episodes is that was like my second or third time playing through the early chapters of JBTA, and I just never recorded it before, so I knew roughly what I was doing. But yeah, derping through it is part of the experience. No one starts out good at JBTA, and I'm approaching the limits of my knowledge. Once I get into like the next couple of chapters... I'll be in completely new territory. And I imagine the derp will increase dramatically. Eight. Gonna need more clay. Dude, I got killed by a butterfly. I've been killed by a butterfly twice. There is nothing to be ashamed of. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. I need to make like a meme video off of that. Oh, what would be good for that? Maybe like, maybe like, um, oh, what was it? Uh, what's that old JRPG? The one with like the blonde vampire dude who was wandering around as a masked, as a masked warrior with a butterfly theme. Uh, Grand Papillon. Uh, da, 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 shadow, shadow Hearts. Shadow Hearts Covenant 2. Yeah. I need to like, I need to like make a video overlaying my face onto that and then like when he when he like jumps down to start the fight just cut to my death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now I'm probably going to need a couple stacks of iron. And I think that should be everything I need in order to just make a butt-ton of hoppers. 
Ah, no chests. Of course. I always forget hoppers actually need chests. My god, this wonderful revelation. I don't have enough. Oh, well. By all means, keep on going. It's it's a very aggravating experience, but it's a wonderful experience. And um Oh, also, in the uh in the curse uh page for JBTA, there is a link to the Discord, the Astrolands Reforged Discord. I'm on there quite a lot, and we talk around like all the stuff we're planning, all the stuff we're doing. So uh stop by sometime. You're editing with Blender? That's amazing. I've never gotten my mind around Blender. Like, th that is the Blender I'm thinking of, the 3D editing software, right? Not like some other Blender. Okay, so what the heck is... I need chess. Right, 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 right. So, in here, I need more nuggets. Need more nugs, sweet nugs. Let's just take a block of iron. That's a lot of nugs. No, let's break it down so it melts faster. Um, the three the video editor software I use is Shotcut. S H O T C U T. It's a free and open source editor that it's a little bit wonky in some areas, but for the most part, it's incredibly easy to use. If you don't have luck with Blender, you might want to give that one a try. Huh, neat. I might actually have to try and get into Blender. Uh, yeah, and when I started when I started doing Breath Edge, I tried using a video editor called HitFilm. I would not recommend HitFilm. It glitches out. It uh, its cache files are horrendously huge. Like HitFilm was taking up something like something like I don't know ten gigabytes per video I made on it, and it would. Pollution. It looks like it's coming from the lava machine. You have wool. Was it just an unlucky case? Of like, that pollution came through at the exact moment that something was trying to rise up through? Easy fix to that is to put a hopper on top. That'll block it for that split moment, and it'll serve as an easy loading bay for more wool. Which this thing is starting to need. Our diesel is almost full again. Oh well. If it contains the finest of fine art, then we absolutely must... We, we must see this experience, so yes. Uh, post it up soon, and I will be... Uh, I will be pinning a comment linking to your channel once I'm done with the stream, for sure. Actually, I won't do that on uh, this stream, because this particular episode won't be made public for like a couple of... Uh, like a week and a half or so. So... So, um... Yeah, I'll be... Whatever episode is being posted up today in a couple of hours... I will I will pin your channel onto that one for sure. That's good enough. That'll last for a while. The lava machine doesn't have a terribly high pollution rate. I mean, Critters in Nature is a very popular thing to see, and Derp is always wonderful. Lord knows I've had my share of Derp on this channel. I mean, do you know how embarrassed I was with some of the things that 
ended up making into Let's Read Boat Murdered. Some of the flubs that I really should have done another take on. No, do I should be on live chat, not top chat. Hold on, hold on. Oh, I forgot to set it. I forgot to set it. Hold on. Da, 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 frickin there, we're on live chat. So it should be completely uncensored now. Really? Okay, I guess... Uh, try giving us some swears. Come on, show us your best. Wow. The dreaded Bargner fluck. Barglunar fuck. My god. How dare you. So bold. What the heck was I doing? I was making nuggets to make more chests. You can tell I'm a little bit tired right now, can't you? <laughs> oh boy. All right, now let's... Uh, let's make some more cedar. Sequoia, whatever it's called. Uh, yep, it is currently 4 a.m. But more than that, I'm tired out because that was a hell of a long reading I attempted. <laughs> oh, boy. No, 4 a.m. isn't the big deal. I'm used to being up at 4 a.m. It's, uh... It's going off of two hours of of reading and then doing this. That's... That's a lot. Yeah, that's not going to be out anytime soon. So let's just use the planks. Use the planks, Luke. Alright, so then... I believe it does four each, right? On this. Oh, right. Noog. No, five. Okay, so I have 16 loaded up, so 10, 15. Oh, it's, oh right, I turned the diesel off, didn't I? I'm mostly fine after the break. It's just a little bit of mental tiredness. It's fine. And also, I, I took the sensible advice and took a break before I tried to just push through the whole thing. I think if I really did double down and tried to read that whole damn thing, yeah, we wouldn't be here right now. I'd be done for the night. So it's right here, right? Oh, right. I need 18 more. Hmm. Well, yeah. Y you kind of have to get used to talking to yourself. Yep. That is one reason why uh, moving over to streaming is a very uh, interesting experience. Once you get used to the psychosis of talking to yourself, actually talking to people again is the thing that feels weird. Okay, there we go. No, don't. There we don't go. We need yet more iron. Which, thankfully, is no longer a huge deal. Not that it ever really was a huge deal. Iron was always the easy one. Okay, there we go. So we have all the hoppers, and that is indeed the hard part. Especially now. Um, currently, I am using a Blue Yeti Classic. I know that it's overhyped and it's generally considered not to be the best, but I got a really good deal on it. And uh, this is an upgrade I did recently. 
the microphone that I was doing before was, um, I forget its exact name. It was just like a cheap $20 mic though. And I was mostly just making it acceptable by sheer dint of a whole lot of video editing techniques and eventually getting the positioning absolutely optimized. And it was still a whole lot less good than this. So I think I saw that it was four away from an even number, wasn't it? No, it's three. One, two, three. And then we can switch it back to ingots and just, or even better, get it on plates. Well, I mean, if you really enjoy it as a hobby, and if you want to get into it, it does cost a little bit of money to get started, but you will indeed enjoy the results. If I can toot my own horn, I think I've got myself sounding pretty damn good. So it goes. Uh, you can do a lot to try and fix it. Um, let's see here. There's a software... It's different than the software I'm using. It's, um, I forget what it's called, but there is a thing that you can put in to do, uh, well, in OBS itself, you can do a lot of live processing. You can do noise cancellation, you can do compression, you can do uh, normalization, and you can get yourself sounding a lot better just in OBS's settings. Why did I open that? I don't know. And um, if you really want to optimize, then you can do little sync rituals like saying, like, uh, click one, click two, click three, click four, so that you can sync your video audio and you can record your audio separately on Audacity. And then you can do really intensive editing in there. Okay, but yes, 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 we're making two crushers right now. That is what we're doing. Stop distracting myself. So we have the 18 hoppers. Next, we're gonna need a bunch of steel fence. And I should probably just get a wooden crate down. Ah, yes, and it's looking like half of our hoppers are infected. Isn't that lovely? Let's disinfect them. That's the lovely thing, is that when you have placeable blocks, you can disinfect them. Okay, so did we guess correctly? Indeed we did. Huzzah. All right. Oh, yeah, no. And, uh, yeah, if I can offer any other help, let me know. I mean, I've been doing this for a little while. I, I don't want to say I'm, like, a pro or anything. I'm not exactly making living money off of this. I'm making, like, ten bucks a month. <laughs> but it, I have been in the hobby for a little while, and um, you, you can see, like... If you go back and watch the really early boat murdered, you can see like you can see where I started out and uh how far I've improved since then. So, however bad you sound now, it, you'll you'll get there, you know? So, I need at least 16 of these. And it it's a constant process too. I know that I have still further beyond to go. Like, even just now in the uh, in the recording, like, I, I'm constantly berating myself for all the times I went mushy-mouthed and all the times I kind of uh, accepted a take that could have gone better, but I just wanted to move on, you know? Okay, so that's steel fence. Next, we're going to need 20 light engineering blocks, which... Do we have that in stock? Yeah, we have exactly enough. And we're going to need two light, two redstones. Ah, but look at how many pistons we have. Isn't that beautiful? Let's start turning those into redstone engines right away, I think. And uh, yeah, I think we're officially out of copper, and that's a holdup right now, isn't it? No, it's just clogged because the uneven distribution in here. Hmm. Need to work on that. Need to work on that. 
So it's working fine so long as these stampers are keeping up. But the problem is the stampers don't keep up. Hmm. You know, as tragic as it is to say, I think that we're eventually going to have to take down these stampers and do something else. Like, maybe I'm going to have to make a smeltery and just make a bunch of casting tables for metal plates. Because that would be much faster and I could compact it into a much smaller area. Hmm... Maybe, maybe, hmm. Regardless, red. Ah, I need more sticks in order to start doing that. Because we're gonna need a lot more gears. I don't have a whole lot more sticks. Hmm. Yes, I do. And... Yeah, I don't quite have enough. Let's just make the two. See you in a minute, Fox. Yeah, that's that'll be enough. All right, and from there, I can just take those into redstone engines. I don't have enough glass. Well, this will be more than enough to solve that issue. So then we can just run that on over. Let's put this copper over in the, uh... Yeah, okay. And we should have enough iron just sitting spare in here. Just to immediately make a bunch of pulsers. Cool. Cool beans. Let's also get those gates burning because we burned through a lot of gates. So I should be able to just, really? I thought it was just, yeah, it's just a plain, so where, where are they? Oh, it's, okay. It's out of bizarre. It needed, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But we've restocked on pulsers for a little while. That's good news at least. Okay, so next we're going to need 20 steel scaffolding. That's real easy stuff. Let's just take what we have. And then we're just going to need steel and we're going to need steel rods. And we just make... Make it a scaffy. Like a so. So, that's more than enough. And all right, so let's do a count and make sure yep, that is all checks. And that should be checks for two once we just build the first one. All right, so let's move that on over and let's start building. Now, there is a question of where do I want to lay this out? And also, where do I want my sand to be stored? Right now, I have it kind of laid down quite a little ways over here. Hmm. Do I maybe want it closer to the end of the line? Hmm. What's this? Oh, that's... That's, um... What is that that I was... Oh, that's... That's gonna be for sulfur. Yeah. I didn't have any sulfur on hand, so I just put a glue there. So do I want to store sand, gravel, and clay here? Or do I want to move that down? Hmm. Also, I need to make the silos. Forgot that I need to make the silos. That's going to be a couple of stacks of, uh, stacks of this. Let's get that going. Set to play? Yeah, it is. You do. 
Ah, good. I don't need to burn all of it into there. And I should also have some sheet metal in storage, shouldn't I? Yeah, in there. Okay, so maybe one more stack will be enough. Remind me, how much goes into a silo? 50, so we need 150. We have 128, we have 130 right now. Cool, so we don't need that much more. I just grabbed a little bit of spare iron, I guess. We're also gonna need more fence posts. Which we look like we're out of. Easy enough to fix. Let's see, I think it's just like this, like this, and oh dear, we're out of ash. That isn't such an easy fix. Okay. So, 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 so. If I take a bunch of this, let's see here, wood pile. Yeah, hmm. And I'm gonna need at least 32 of it for a full, 90, I'm gonna need at least 27 of it for a full burn, I should say. Hmm. Well, let's just uh, make it. Nothing to it but to do it. So how much is that in each one? 200, so that makes five each. Five, ten, fifteen. Twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Okay, so that should be enough to do one burn over at the old uh at the old burner pile, and that'll get us a bit more ash to play with. I could have sworn I had more ash somewhere in here. I guess not. Oh well. Back to the old base for the first time in a while. I suppose, no, I don't want to take down this crusher because this crusher will eventually be part of the redstone excavator. In any case, I just, you know, finished building a whole bunch of crusher, so yeah. Okay, and unfortunately we're kind of stuck Stuck for the moment until this burns through. I really should have made more ash a long time ago. All right, so need this. Also gonna need to pick these old bad boys up. And a boop and a boop. Yep. Hmm. Maybe I should replace that for a pulsar so that that. Well, no. There should be. It's just really slow to filter all the way in there now that it's not pressurized. Hmm. Well, it'll repressurize soon enough once this gets all the way burning. Is this area chunk loaded? It isn't. Wait, how am I doing? Okay, I have a, I have a few more chunks that I could load. Yeah, this whole thing is unfortunate. This is a little bit of a cursed uh, process, isn't it? Well, regardless, let's start building the crushers. So, where do I want to build the crushers? Hmm. I can't really... Yeah. Beautiful pistons, pistoning perilously, perniciously, and psychedelically. 
or pneumatically, although the fact that that has the silent P, that kind of reduces it, doesn't it? As a, as a viable alliterative force. How you doing? You're doing pretty good. Hmm, you're still kind of jamming up. Yeah, this just plain does not produce plates fast enough. Uh, nothing much. I needed to... I needed to go and make some more forestry ash because I'm going to need it for the fencing to make some more, um, some more silos for our new project. And so while that ash is in the old base burning, I'm uh, pondering where I'm going to start building the crushers at last. So, oh yeah, I also had, you know, a few. Hmm. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I could do that any old time. Wee. Now I'm dizzy. Huzzah. All right. So, 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 so. Crucers. I mean, I guess this stretch of beach over here is as good as any. This is a blank chunk. This is effectively a blank chunk. It's just got water in it. So yeah, this is a good place for a, for a miniature cobble works, I suppose. It's a little bit of a distance to run the cobble, but meh. All right, so. So, 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 so. Book. Where is book? There is book. Let's take shovel off because we're not going to be using it. Okay, so, Crucer. Give me layout, please. So, the output is on that side, right? Yeah, so we kind of want them facing this way, I guess. So, three light, then a sea of scaffolding around two. So take out our light, our scaffolding. Where's the chunk borders? Yeah, this is going to be kind of awkwardly crossing borders. So let's just make sure that these chunks are loaded, both of them. And we'll just accept that this will be a bit of a messy machine. Oops, not there. Everywhere but there, really. And then, okay, so next, it is going to be, the circle of fencing around one of those. So here, 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 and all the way around here. And then the next layer is just the hoppers, right? Looks like it. Just like a so. And that should be enough to just give it a whack with a hammer. Somewhere around here, right? Okay, what am I? Oh, I'm missing. I'm missing this, aren't I? There we go. Alrighty then. Do I have any tinder on me? Not looking like it. Let's just kind of switch our uh, rebreather out so that'll hopefully give us a little bit of insulation. All right, so then that's setting up for the next one. We'll just have it facing the same way. No, we need to have it facing the opposite direction, don't we? Unless there's an output on both ends, which there isn't. 
So, for this one, we then need the three light blocks on this side. And then kind of like so, right? Yeah, like so. And then these three. So then this, 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 this. And this. Hello, test. I guess you don't need me to answer you because it's showing up in my uh, chat overlay too, isn't it? when it finally gets through on your end. So then that's, uh, looking at it from this way, that's right there, yeah. Okay, cool. And then I should just be able to like so. And then like so. And then, like so. No? Okay, what did I do wrong? Is this on the wrong side? It was on the wrong side. Okay, cool. So, I might have to move these a block further apart. Let's see here. So, it's definitely gonna be outputting into a chest right here. And we'll be using that chest to uh, run our emergency shutoff signal. So, da, 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 da. I'm just gonna need gold pipe, gonna need transport pipe, pulser, couple of gates. Pipe wire, and I might need some structural pipe. Let's put the hammer away for now. So, to start with, it's just going to draw off, run up, right on over, if it'll let me. Pipe plugs, gonna need pipe plugs. Because, yes, we definitely don't want it feeding into its own hopper again. Okay, so then I should be able to... Maybe off of there? Okay, so... This one will say... Win inventory... Blue wire. No, it's not letting me split off of that. Okay, so it needs to be... I swear, bridging across cable gaps is a wonky process. Deliberately so, as far as I can tell. There we go. Also need plug on there. Only want it inserting into the one place. So... Oh, also, we're eventually... I think just right here... Uh, when you have a pipe junction like this, it should split evenly. So half of the gravel should go out into here and half of the gravel should go out into storage just from having it split like this naturally. Right, and I recall that uh, the crushers have a thing where they don't like receiving redstone off of gates directly. So we're going to need a cobblestone block here. And it's just going to need a dot of redstone dust on there. And that'll give it signal just fine. Okay, so how's our burn going? Is it done yet? It's still going. Yeah, look at that. We have pollution in the base again. Huzzah. Uh, 
Okay, so. The control signal on this. It's obviously going to need just, if box is full, then shut off. Hmm. Getting a bit cramped in there. So, if contains more than 75%, activate blue signal. And I forgot to get that dot of redstone. Yes, good news, everyone. We are a polluting, we, we are a tycoon, officially. Okay, and then we can just put a gate on there, and that'll say when blue signal produce redstone. Run the pipe on. No, it'll say when not blue signal produce redstone. Yes. None like it, I tells you. None like it. Not anymore. Heck, even modern Futurama is not like classic Futurama. It kind of got a little bit of Simpson syndrome in there, appropriately enough considering Matt Granning and all that. Okay, so down here. On to this one. So it'll be outputting out this end. And we'll just be taking up off of it. And I haven't made the centrifuge to make clay just yet. But we'll kind of be doing the same thing. We'll just be going out. And then we'll be splitting off into storage and into the final centrifuge. So then off of that, I think that maybe if I place the structural pipe on top, that should allow me to bridge it more easily. So if I just run that over here, then I should be able to, you know what, let's use white wire and we'll use this as an alternate like, um, so like if, uh, no, 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 no. Okay, so if I wanted it to just, not input into this crusher any more sand or any more gravel when the box is full of sand, then I would have to make a box to split it here. And it would just be like constant pulser over there until storage is full and pulser over here only when, when uh, sand is not full. I could do that. It's a little bit more expensive, but we did just make a ton of cheap pulsers, and we we're, we kind of need to get out of the scarcity mindset a little bit, I guess, because now we have the automated artisan. Well, we're still in the scarcity mindset a little bit because copper is so limited, though. Hmm. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, regardless, let's see if the bridge is working, and let's use white wire for it, just in case. So can I? Yes, I can. Okay, cool. So if I then uh, put a building block down, put redstone on, put gate on. No, not there. Wait, what? Okay, gate on bottom side, please. Very carefully on bottom. Huh. Graphics are bugging out. Okay, so let's say uh, when inventory below 75% produce white signal. So face the bottom side. Okay, cool. And this one, for the moment, we'll test it saying when white signal redstone. We'll make sure that that's, yeah, that activates the redstone. Okay, cool. So. When not white signal, activate redstone. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll make that splitting that I was talking about. We'll make that splitting mechanism. So I'm going to need a chest for that, I imagine. Because I don't think I have any mechanism that would allow me to just split it on the pipe level. It needs to be, it needs to like go into a hopper or a chest or something. 
right here. And then it'll be like an output line here and an output line here that have two different wire conditions. A little bit of a waste of a pulser, but what you gonna do? Okay, cool. So then I can run the structural pipe over here. And I'm gonna have to go and fetch some more white pipe. But I can just put a gate on here and I am completely out of white pipe. Whole damn banana. We've split banana. I have become Sunday, destroyer of wastelines. All right, and then we can just. I guess I didn't need white wire on this, but oh well, what you gonna do? It's not like I had all that much blue wire left on me anyway. And it's nice to see different colors every once in a while. Okay, cool. So we'll just, no, it actually doesn't even need gate on there. It just needs to bridge over, doesn't it? If it'll let me bridge over, which it won't. So it needs to be a gate there, <laughs> long story short. So that'll say, on no white signal. No, that'll say on white signal produce redstone. And we'll use that to signal the gate over here. So then I need that over. Yeah, and that'll say on redstone signal pulse the pipe. Cool. So then that's saying as long as this chest is less than 75% full, the redstone signal will not be activated on the crusher and it will draw from this intermediary chest, which I guess now I need to have up on here, like, uh, what is the blue signal doing right down there now? Why is that blue signal on? It should be off. Where's it coming from? Ah, uh, okay. This doesn't have a pulsar on it. it. Doesn't have a pulsar condition, do it. Okay, so I just need to run white wire down from there. And that'll say on here, gonna need a pulsar on there as well. So that's gonna say No, it doesn't even need a white wire. No, it do, it do, it do. So that's gonna say, get right there. When chest on top side is less than 75% full, produce white signal. And you are gonna say, when white signal. Pulse the pipe. There we go, okay. A little bit more complicated than it should be, but so. This sand crusher is effectively controlling the output rate of the gravel crusher. It will, if this chest becomes full, then it will shut this crusher off. And if this chest is full, it'll stop drawing from this chest, allowing that chest to start filling up. Now the only other control source we need is coming in from storage which we can just control that off of this gate here. We'll have this saying like, when redstone signal produce pipe, pipe pulse, and we'll use the uh, red, we'll use the red cables that we've been using on all our other silos in order to, uh, in order to get redstone signal over here, even though it's a relatively short jump. 
So this should be more or less set up, more or less protected, I think. So now the only question is, do we in fact have some silos, which is effectively saying, do we have any ash? I don't hear crickle crackle. Beauteous, wonderful. Tasty, tasty forestry ash, more than a stack of it. Couldn't ask for better. All right, and let's, in fact, uh, get ourselves fully insulated once more because we're heading back into the danger zone. We're on a highway to it, you might say. And... No, I'm about to use the dang... Uh, the dang thing, so... Ah, oh, that's another thing. Once we have a supply of sand, it might be time to start building up to a coal excavator next so I can get silicon and start controlling the, the engines properly. Yes, yes, yes. Lovely charcoal. Crunchy, beautiful, lovely. So, tree tud sticks. Tree tud wood. And a little bit of ash. And then all it should need is some creosote. And this should make me my fence posts. And it's looking like I need more sticks. So those are real simple to make. There we go. I might need to make more treated wood. That's also real simple to make. And that'll be one, two, three, four, five buckets of creosote to make all those. Then once more back to fence posts. And just another bouquet. One more for luck, because yeah, I'm gonna need three silos. Okay, now, did I remember to, no, I didn't get this pour going, shoot. It's set to the right thing, yep. Okay, so I need a little bit more sheet metal, I think, in order to just get this going. Let's see. I have 130 sheet metal. I just need 20 more. Buku bucket. Yes. Beautiful. Gonna need just 12 fence posts. Almost have a, almost have a free silos worth of fence posts in there already. Hmm. Always lovely when you get, when you like buy four, get one free. Hmm. There we go, and that should be all of the uh, all of the sheet metal assembled. So let's go and build us those silos. I can think I can just carry that in my bag. Yep. Okay, so where do we want to store this stuff? Um. I'm still debating on, okay, I might want to move the diamond and electrotine down to here, 
like, yeah, maybe have diamond electrocene and then the sand products. And then again, that also means that I'm moving it farther and more jankly. And let's just build it where I set it. We'll deal with it if we have to deal with it. So start with just our three sheet metal. So we just mark out where they're going. Okay, and one, two, three, four, and get up on top, pull out, pull out just a stack of sheet metal, and start a building. Hmm. I mean, I think it's technically doable. It would just look really ugly. And I mean, I've already got enough going against me on the aesthetics of the base as it is. I have no reason to keep on borrowing trouble in that regard. If I, if I did something like stack silos vertically, the aesthetic gods would probably strike me down. Besides, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a, uh, I've got Mr. Fancy Schmancy himself as competition in this pack. Don't want to fall behind in that regard against him. Can you imagine the shame? I have to keep up with the Fancy Schmancy. Okay, so this first one will be gravel. Simply because of the, uh, the order of operation that it's going in. Mm-hmm, he really do. The aesthetics that he managed to make out of the factory blocks is amazing stuff. I hope that, uh, I hope that he will take the time to keep on building pretty, that he won't fall to the lure of a big flat cobblestone platform like I did. Because, yes, I, I, I like my little cobblestone platform. I like that I've figured out a means of building it really quickly. And I think I've not got it looking terrible, but on the other hand, it doesn't look as good as the pretty base. And I feel bad for abandoning the pretty base, but it's kind of needs must, you know? Like we're already running out of space again. I'm gonna need to build more space. Okay, and this one will obviously be sand. On to the final case. Oops, how did that happen? I forget that there's actually a button to swap main hand and off hand. I never use it. I rarely use my off hand in the first place. I should probably use it more. All right. Yes. Beautiful. Ah, well, we, we've not had to worry about starving for a little while, and oxygen is still included. We won't have to worry about including oxygen until a couple of chapters from now. Yeah, it looks like it's F, apparently. I think that's vanilla Minecraft. It's not any of the mods. Okay, so, 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 we can just throw those cobble out. Also, I need to remember to put torches up there eventually. So, 
This pipe is just plain old gravel. Uh, let's run that under the base. Actually, yeah, we can just run that into the into the old resource line, can't we? Yeah, we can do that. That makes it real simple. And that's also an implicit argument for uh, not moving it further down the line. Okay, so I'm going to need a little bit of diamond pipe in order to get the sorting going properly here. Also going to need samples of... Pardon. <sighs> Excuse me. Going to need samples of all the things being... Uh, Sorted, so gonna need a bit of gravel, gonna need a little bit of sand. Might need to go hunting for that. Didn't I save some sand? I could have sworn I did. Hmm. Hmm. Well, you know what? We could just hook up the power to this and get it going. Throw in a little bit of cobble manually. Yeah, let's do that, I think. Unfortunately, don't really have a great place to introduce the Utilidor anywhere in here. Especially since it's on sand. So just kind of dig down right here. And work our way back to the Utilidor. Is F7 mode on? It should be. Stupid dynamic lighting interrupting it. Okay, so. Let's just continue leveling out to level. There we go. Beauteous, and then just clean up all this crap. Ah, that'll give us our sand to sort through, too, won't it? Beautiful. All according to plan. Because, yeah, this was totally planned. I'm not just wildly improvising as I go. What would possibly make you think that? Alright, let's at least get a little bit of cobble on there. Where's the small tile pattern that I'm using for everything? Uh, I think it's this one. Yeah, that's what I'm using as my generic building block. Yeah! Totally trustworthy on that regard. You can trust me to always come in with a meticulous plan. I never fly by the seat of my pants. No. I would never. Got a big checklist right in front of me that I've had from day one. Stronghold? I don't think I've played that game, no. Okay, so... Then it's looking like... Gonna need... Like, right here. And then, because that is unfortunately lower, right there. Uh, Alright, that's in logistics bag. Wires. So, first of all, can I go from there to there? Yep. The end of there. Yeah, I, I think I've heard of it. I've just never played it. Okay, so then... Let's set up a power nipple right here. Yeah, because that's like... No, I think I just set it up here. Because that's easier to find. And then I'll have to like make a... Stack up a little bit into... To get power to all of them. 
Yeah. Huh. Uh, well, yes, I can definitely see why you would, why you would be feeling that energy right now. Pardon one sec. Ah, damn. I actually managed to mute the mic in time to try and sneeze and it doesn't come out. Ugh. Don't you hate it when a sneeze is trapped. Okay. Yeah. Slide. Weeping Angel? Why? Where? The trees. The cider trees. Okay. So I just need to swim away, despawn that, and then go examine the cider trees and see. Or was that not the cider trees? Was it down in the Utilidor? Did I miss a spot of lighting in the Utilidor? Maybe. Unfortunately, cider apples are not as useful as regular apples. They are kind of crappy, half a half a shank food. They can't be used for like making golden apples. They're just they're just plain worse apples, and regular cider isn't really good either. The only thing that comes out of the cider farm that's at all useful is calva, and you can't make that yourself like you can with cider. It has to be made by the NPCs. Well, I mean, it does look like there's a couple of suspicious spots up here. But I'm not seeing, like... Yeah, my F7... Ah, there it is. Okay. But let's also go down and uh, double-check our Utilidor. No, it looks like I did all the lighting down here just fine. Uh, yeah. Getting tagged by a weeping angel kind of sucks. It kind of sucks a whole lot. Behind me one? Is that a failed exclamation point? You're trying to get me concerned that there's one right behind me? I know there's none around. I'd, I'd see them on the map, you know? There we go. Your, your shenanigans are unfortunately not very effective when I have a journey map. One tile on the tree. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm not seeing any. I mean, sure, I'll put torches on all these just to be sure. These trees are all covered. It, it's okay. Cool. Uh, thank you for uh, thank you for double checking on me and making me double check on myself. Cause heaven knows I'm not at all trustworthy for my own good. All right. So uh, back to playing with our power nipples in public too. The shame. Ah, we definitely do need to light this up. Uh, 
Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, I don't think I can just run it straight on over there. No, doesn't look like I can. Need to just kind of jank it on over. Blech. I know. We should free the power nipple. Loud, proud, and incredibly deadly. That's the way it should be. Indeed. Yeah, it's only the underground biome stones that you have to worry about falling. Every flavor of cobblestone, every uh, even regular old vanilla Minecraft stone, it all works just fine, like you would expect. Now, if I wanted to build up in the sky without it being incredibly derp looking, I could build some immersive engineering balloons if I really wanted to. But I don't particularly want to. Okay, other end of the power nipple down here. Make a pass through. There we go. And then finally just Run it on down. There we go. So these should now be powered. And if I just get a stack of cobblestone into here. <laughs> that sounds like a classic flash video. That definitely has an early Newgrounds feel to it. What the heck? Oh, need to turn the diesel gen on, don't I? No, I don't. So what's up? Okay, so yeah, yeah, power there, power there. Going all the way on down. Yeah, that's our power line, all right. You shouldn't be receiving redstone signal from any... You are. Oh, I must have had this on a testing condition. No, it's... Okay, so it's saying... When not receiving blue... Emit red... Oh, the bridge broke from something. Stupid freaking... Why you know... Uh, okay, I need to rejigger this. You know, I might just need to uh, run it like this way over, maybe? Can I bridge like that? If I... Hmm. No, that's not working. <sighs> okay, I'll just have to use regular old pipe, I think. But yeah, look at this. We're making gravel, we're making sand. And I want gravel. For a, for a filter, yes. Hmm. So now the problem is that uh, I'm not sure if uh, priority will take place in this chest at all. Like, if one side will be prioritized over the other. If it do, then it should be the north side that gets prioritized, I think. Maybe. Possibly. Uh, I will be right back once more. Alright, my apologies. 
All right, but yes, yes. See, this is actually producing sand, I think, at a faster rate than an excavator would. It will be slowed down a little bit when we uh, are starting to split it, like, halfway each way, though. So, we need to get on that. Ah, well. You have yourself fun, 12th Century Fox. I am getting close to wrapping up myself, so you won't be missing much. Right, I'm also going to need clay pipes because, yeah, I'm going to want these voided. I think I'm not going to put any any uh, amount controls on this. I'm just going to let it fill up and void. But, yes, thank you for stopping by, Fox. It's always wonderful having you here. All right, cool, cool. That's built up properly. I think I'm, in fact, going to turn this off for now. And uh, have fun at your RPG. And, yes, I will definitely shout out to 12th Century Fox uh, on whatever episode is going to be up today and on... Uh, and on um, and on now, of course, yes. Everyone watching this in the future, whenever this episode comes out, definitely check Fox's channel out. Right, I'm out of glass, aren't I? Well, we actually have a fix for that now, don't we? Huzzah. Oh, it's out of fuel. What do you know? Don't I still have some charcoal chips around? Yep. And eventually it'll have to use sugar cane once I run out of this. But yeah, you don't want to put a long-lasting fuel in the kiln. The kiln rarely burns anything for long. All right, I still had some glass in there, too. All right, then. So... Over into Nya, make us some clay pipes. Also going to need just a little bit of redstone and a piece of uh, our ink sack. I should be, I should get into the habit of checking the merchant stand every day. But then again, days go by pretty quick these days, don't they? Mm. Okay, so first one is going to be a diamond pipe going up. I didn't pick up any gravel. I could have sworn I did. I could have sworn that I did. Well, let's throw another stack in. No harm in it. And let's just see if I can snipe it out. There we go. And over Nya, we will say Lay pipe up on the top. Allowing it gold, and that'll remind me that white is the color that we want to filter it towards. And we'll just immediately put a nice void pipe, like, right on the side here. Since that'll also allow us to make a nice kind of interconnected system, very pretty-like. Yeah. All right, down the line. Next diamond pipe for our beautiful sand, of which I smelted all of it. But thankfully, these systems run real low power, and we aren't running any heavy industry right now, so our capacitor is still nice and full. So that just goes up on there. 
and then down the line yet further. Put a diamond right there. Clay and void. And pipe and white clay ball. I don't think I'm going to compact these. I'm just going to let it be clay balls, be its own thing. So now we need to actually run our output lines over. Just make a nice little... Do I have iron pipes on me? I'm going to need them. Uh, wherever I make the join. Yes, I do. Cool. So, right in there. Like, that's the first one right there, right? So, we'll join it right here. Iron pipe. And make sure that it's pointing into the right direction. So, that'll be where our join is. And we just run it right on out. I always get paranoid that whenever I add a pipe on, did the, did the direction change? So that'll be where our outputs go. And honestly, I might just join them like right here. So it'll need another iron pipe, I guess. I'll just squirrel it around so we don't need to move that torch. It's okay if it's ugly. Yeah, so we're gonna need another iron pipe right there. Need another wrench whack. There we go. And I think I should be able to just say, I'm not keeping clay in there. I am keeping void in there. Uh, da, 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 da. HB wire, I'm running low on that. Hmm, I'm running low on structural pipe again too. And yeah, I guess that I don't even need a control signal on this. I can just rip that off. and just put an always on pulser right there. So I guess there is an implicit priority here. When the sand chest is full, this will be outputting. Hmm, if the sand chest is ever full. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So I guess the split here would be like, so this will eventually be going down to, down to um, the clay processor. And this will just be going into storage, this side here. We'll do the same split that we did over at the, uh, over at the gravel gen. We'll just make it a little bit more neat because we have the space now and because I've thought of it now. So this will be, where this joins. Unfortunately, that means I kind of have to squirrel it over once more. Yeah, not as bad as it could be. And then we just slap the pulser on. And that has a little bit of sand in it, done it. So we'll see if this is sorting correctly. Look at that, beauteous. So now I can slap a couple of stacks of cobble in there and we'll see how the sorting is looking. Come on. There we go. And hopefully it'll be it'll be drawing it into both roughly equally. Hmm, 
it looks like it's prioritizing towards sand. Could I do any wire tricks on this? Okay, let's first of all take this pulser off for now. And yeah, that'll be drawing the gravel out over on that one. And we'll just make sure it's going into storage properly. Yeah, do. Okay, cool. So, can I do something like, let's see here, slap down a structural pipe, gonna need white and blue wires, turn that off, ah, you're right, okay, so that needs to be an AND gate, doesn't it? Because it'll be the condition of there is space in the destination and there is uh, so when white signal or rather when redstone and something uh, and what is that something going to be so we already have white wire on this one so I guess I'll just run that down can I get that bridged onto here, please? Thank you. Run that over. So I guess I'll put a gate on here. And I'll say, when item traversing, then activate white pipe signal. And we'll see if we can run this. Th Why did you break? Why did wire break? Why you do this? Very carefully target just the pipe wire. Pipe. Why you do this? Ow. Please, please, pipe, please. You are at right angle. Oh, God. Damn it. Okay, carefully strip the wire down. And let's see if we can get that bridge back. Okay, so, wire there, wire there, why you know, you were doing this before. You had no trouble with this arrangement before. What is your major malfunction? Take the whole damn pipe out. Well then. If that won't cooperate, I guess that it would just have to be... Oh, is it that there's a gate here? Is that preventing it now? Because that's the only thing I can think of that changed before it was... Yeah, okay, there... so the gate can't be there. That's what's preventing it. Okay. So, when item traversing, produce white signal. And we'll just run the white signal all the way over there. So, then you will have a gate. And I think it can just be any old gate. And you'll say... No, it has to be an OR gate, actually. Why? 
how and why. Not important right now. I lost my train of thought. Frick. Okay, so you'll say when white pipe signal pulse and when item traversing create blue signal. Rather, blue signal has to be over here. Yeah. And then I need to run the white pipe down there. Yeah. Okay, cool. So then... Run, like, the blue pipe all the way down there. Take this off. Okay, cool. And then you say... When blue signal, power pulse. Okay, so that should create a 50-50 split behavior. And all I should need to do now is ensure some sort of signal like when there is item in inventory, pulse the pipe once on one of these sides to prime the pump. So... I think my last free side is on this one, and that'll just say uh, inventory full, inventory empty, item in inventory, pulse pipe once. So that gets it going. And I missed if it activated and did stuff. Shoot. Ah, it didn't activate the damn blue. Because I took that wire off. Right, right, right. Okay, once more. Once more. Uh, condition off. If there is item inventory pulse pipe. There we go. And... That looks like it's going. All right. There. We've invented a 50-50 split. Huzzah. And that means that when we get the centrifuge, we're going to have to do the same thing down here. Creeper. Oh, you came in from the silo. That's where you came from. I said before that I should just put torches on there from the beginning. But wait, that zombie looked like he was coming from the Utilidor. Was that just zombie pathing? Hmm. Mysterious. I don't like mysterious. Well, hmm, hmm, hmm. Why are you on? Parkour! Fail! I should have known from the moment I started yelling it that it would fail. Yep, if there's so much as one square of spawnable space, then bad things happen. So it goes. Okay, so that, 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 that. We'll just put everything away for now, because I think it's time to wrap up. I've been... It has been a very long day. A very long night. And we've actually got quite a bit done. So... Ah, uh, no, I should I should at least run the cobble over. Yeah, I should. I really, really should. So, let's do one last little thing. I can get rid of that sand pile now. So, 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 so. Do I just want to run it out of the cobble box? Yeah, I do. So, that's just going to need this. That's going to need... 
more of this. Let's just get some more gold. Come on. Come on, lag spike. There we go. All right, into here. And isn't it nice knowing that glass is no longer a limited resource? So I think I'm just gonna make myself a stack and keep the remainder in there. So we're just gonna run this right down off the cobble line. I'm gonna have to squirrel it over like a couple of space, no, that, yeah, nothing for it, but just to make a big overland pipeline, I think, because this whole area beneath it is very much all, uh, all kind of complex space. And it's gonna need to hop over this. Over on all the way down. You know, I could just keep it up at that, at that top level. Because it's going to need to go back up again anyway. Yep. Right on down we go. And do I want to put any special control on this, or do I just want it always running? Um, there really isn't any downside to just letting a crusher fill up. They are essentially black hole storages. I don't think they'll overflow. Even if they do get full, I think they'll just void. I don't know. Hmm. Well, if it becomes a problem, it'll become a problem. Is there anything left in this? No. All right, so just put the pulser on. And that is the system go. So we now have effectively infinite sand and gravel. Yup, yup. I'm really proud of this, of this auto splitter. I'm probably more proud of it than I should be. It's a really simple gate condition, and it took me a long time to make, but I'm still proud of it. Hmm. Okay, so we have infinite sand, we have infinite gravel, and tomorrow we will make ourselves the centrifuge to get us infinite clay as well. Or actually, that can probably wait. It can probably wait. Mm. I mean, other than the sturdy casing itself, which most of the parts are automated now, I just need to chunk in a bunch of bronze, really. Mm. Do I have any bronze in storage? I should have at least some. Yeah, it looks like, it looks like I've got some. So I, yeah, I could make that. Nah, I'll make it tomorrow. I will make that tomorrow. But yes, I will be making that tomorrow. That is the decision whether I'll be making it at all. So tomorrow we'll be making that centrifuge. We'll set up the last of the auto crafting for that. And we will just have infinite sand gravel and clay as if we had a silk excavator for a very very tiny portion of the cost and at a much higher speed yes yeah, silk excavator is a trap i will say it outright right now silt excavator is a trap do not build one build this crusher construct that i've made it is much batter Mooch, mooch, botter. 
Oh, it's out of power. And yes, you saw how long that was running with just on the capacitor. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. So, I think this is a system to be proud of. And we will be finishing it off next time, and then we'll be starting on the next project, which I'll probably decide on impulsively at the time. So, thank you for watching, everyone. 12th Century Fox, I know you're not here now, but thank you for stopping by. Thank you, everyone else who was here. If anyone else is here, my mind is getting foggy and scattered and tired. I don't remember if anyone but Fox joined me today. But thank you, Fox. And yes, everyone watching, check out Fox's channel. I will see you on the next one, everyone. Have yourself a beautiful day. Have yourself a lovely evening.